FWC set out an ambitious goal early in 2016 to remove 25,000 lionfish from Florida waters. As of November, over 37,000 lionfish have been captured recreationally and over 73,000 commercially, equating to a total removal of 111,000 of the invasive fish. Lionfish Removal and Awareness Day was the kickoff event in which 14,000 of those lionfish were removed in two days. El Rad is an annual event scheduled every May that includes a lionfish removal tournament, kid-friendly activities, lionfish tasting opportunities, and provides an engaging atmosphere to spread lionfish awareness. The FWC Lionfish Challenge brought in over 16,000 lionfish. Participating anglers removed 50 or more lionfish, awarded prizes, as well as the possibility to harvest additional spiny lobsters during the 2016 mini season. The Lionfish Challenge ended on September 30th, and the FWC thanks the 95 participants, as well as the 34 dive shops that served as lionfish checkpoint locations. The diver who brought in the most lionfish during the challenge is being crowned the Lionfish King. My name is David Garrett and they named me the Lionfish King. I removed 3,324 lionfish for the 2016 Lionfish Challenge. All the fish that I got for the Lionfish Challenge were off of the Volusia and Flagler County areas. But there's lionfish everywhere. You see hundreds of lionfish just hanging over the reef waiting to eat whatever they can find, it's become a big problem. David will be featured on the cover of the January 2017 Saltwater Regulations publication. He will receive a lifetime saltwater fishing license and he will take home a trophy in honor of his efforts. About half of the lionfish submitted to the lionfish challenge were also submitted to the Panhandle Pilot Program which rewards divers for moving 100 or more lionfish from waters off of Scambia through Franklin counties. This program will continue through May 2017 or until all 130 cobia and red grouper tags allotted to this program are awarded. The first 10 persons or teams to remove 500 lionfish as part of this program also qualify to name an artificial reef. Four teams have qualified to name a reef so far. Visit myfwc.com slash lionfish to learn more about how to participate in the Panhandle Pilot Program. I believe that everybody has the opportunity to win it easily. There's so many lionfish out there. On one day, we were able to actually go down and get 505 on the artificial reefs off of Volusia County. 